You know, let's bring in Ed Butowski. Uh, Ed, let's get straight to it. A horrible job report. Uh, the market's up a little bit. Does a lot of this have something to do with Janet Yellen somehow coming to the rescue? I have no idea. I cannot explain why the market is up. I mean, I mean, Charles, this is a disaster. These numbers reconfirm over and over again. The Obama agenda when it comes to economics is a nightmare. It's not working. We need 350,000 net new full-time jobs to create enough tax revenue to pay for our ongoing businesses. We have in the trailing 12, 180. Charles, you're a smart guy. You did well in school. That's a 51. <laughs> if, you, if your kid came home with a 51, Charles, you'd get a tutor. This is a control-alt-delete, change everything. And I'll right. make it one other quick point. We're talking about weather. Some people are blaming the weather. The, really, the discussion would be is whether we should continue down this path, and we shouldn't. It's but, a but nightmare. Let, let's just say, for argument's sake, someone looked at the numbers. We had the knee-jerk reaction. Then you looked at it again and say, well, you know what? The private sector was 142,000. Maybe that gets revised right. north to 200,000. Uh, construction yeah. was up huge, up 48,000. Manufacturing didn't do too, too bad. People are coming back into the yeah. workforce. Maybe there are some needles in this haystack, and we shouldn't be too uh, hasty about this. Yeah, you know what I say to them? Blah, 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 blah. That's nonsense. Why aren't we over 350,000? I'll tell you why. Because that's what we need. Because our policies stink. We need to cut taxes and start addressing this fiscally. We can, you know, do everything we can to say, well, it was this and this is a little better. Nothing's better. It's a disaster. All that's right, the Ed, bottom hold it right line. There. We need to change things. Hold it right there for a second because yes. I want to go to the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, Nicole, that shows what stocks are actually leading the Dow higher right now. Well, we do actually have some winners here, right? We're looking at Boeing, General Electric, Intel, each gaining, helping to lead the Dow along. Boeing is gaining 1.2%, uh, so that accounts for about 10 Dow points. GE up three quarters of a percent, and Intel up more than a half a percent. All right, thanks a lot, Nicole. Hey, we have a couple of other stocks that are in the news as well. LinkedIn reported last night, disappoints, and down those shares go. You can see down $13, holding up at $210 a share. Sandra, you know, you look at this report, besides the, the sort of guidance that disappointed, it was pretty positive. It was a very positive report. Uh, not only did they produce a profit, but they beat expectations. And overall, the quarter was very impressive. But it was the outlook that's disappointing investors. And that's why we saw shares tank in after hours trading yesterday and as we opened this morning. So uh, the big thing is the comparison thing with the social networking sites, right? It's who's doing better than who. Right. Facebook proved that they were doing very well on mobile. They had a spectacular quarter. And then LinkedIn, while their quarter was great, they're looking forward into 2014 saying they don't think that this sort of success is going to continue and that comparatively is it looks and, and and i think you know by the way for uh the full disclosure my subscribers are in the stock and we're holding on to it uh you know, it is a little bit different, but to your point, this, this whole earnings season has uh, given us winners and distinct losers. And, you're, you know, Facebook up, Twitter down, LinkedIn off a little bit. But they also seem to be very conservative. I, I'm not sure why, you know, it, but they, it feels like the, their guidance may be just a little bit conservative. Here. Well, and the big question with all these social networking sites is can they prove that they can add users on a monthly, annual basis going forward? That's going to be the big struggle, and that's what all the advertisers want to see. Facebook was able to prove that LinkedIn still has a long way to go. Right, and Twitter. We'll talk about that later. Hey, Apple, speaking of technology, investing in itself, buying back $14 billion of its own stock. Uh, those shares have opened up. Let's see what Apple is right now. Up $8, $520 a share. Ed, uh, you're still with us. I want your take on Apple. Sure. I mean, Apple's a phenomenal company, but what, they, what they're basically saying is, I don't know where to put this money. I don't have confidence in expanding my business in certain areas. We got all this cash. So when you hear a stock buyback, that's good in a lot of ways because they're saying, hey, we like our stock more than we like doing something else with that. So when they buy that stock back, they're basically saying we like our company, but we don't like the prospects for other places we can put it. We don't see any acquisitions we want to make. I love Apple. Everything in my well, life is Apple. So I, I, uh, I'm a big so, Apple fan. So isn't this something, what you're saying is sort of an indictment against Tim Cook because it felt like Steve Jobs was never out of ideas, never at a loss for where to go. I mean, almost every right. other day we get news out of Google. They're buying someone. They're investing in this. They're spinning that off. Is this sure. company, that have they limited themselves to the point where the stock is, you know, no one watches it anymore? 
Well, I don't think so, because $14 billion is very small relative to their cash position. So, you know, let, let's not mistake the fact that they're buying that back. They're still going to make probably acquisitions and do other things along the way, but they can't find out what to do with all that cash. They make a lot of money. And right now, they don't like the environment around the world for their expansion based on what, you know, really what their earnings reports have told us. They're not really that confident on what to do with that cash. That's why, you know, Carl Icahn's out there sure. trying to push them to do certain yeah, things. Some people think this move was to appease Icahn. Well, I don't know if they don't like the world, but uh, they better <laughs> do something because investors haven't liked them for a while either. Yeah. Hey, yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it.